What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Skyline which is a Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. One thing I want to make very clear is that this emulator is still in early development and it only works with 2D games namely Sonic Mania and some homebrew games. Now the developers have recommended that you have at least a Snapdragon 845 phone or higher. It needs to be on Android 10. To get this emulator working, you will need the prod.keys, title.keys file and at the time of recording this video, it only works with Sonic Mania. This game can be in NSP or XCI. Please do not ask me where to download these files and games from. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Skyline GitHub page. Make sure you have the correct link as shown here. You will need to have an account, it is free so you can make that straight away. Then click on the actions tab. Then from the workflow list, click on implement CPU only Maxwell. And then at the bottom, you will have four files here. The only one you need is apk release.apk. Click on it and it will come in a zip format. So make sure you unzip it until you get an APK. I've already got this downloaded, so I'm not going to download it right now. Once you have Skyland opened, click on the gear icon. Then Click on search location so you can set a default folder where all of your files are located. So I've got it in a folder called mob. Then click on use this folder. Allow. And then we can use other options such as show performance statistics so you can see the FPS. Now if we scroll down a little lower we can see where it's asking for the prod keys. So click on there then title keys and then select the files. Once that is done, you can go down and configure a Bluetooth control pad if you want. This is entirely optional. One thing I have to say is that the UI here looks fantastic. I don't think I've seen any other emulator have anything like this. Once you have done this, tap back until you are in the main screen and then you will see Sonic shown on your games list. So all you need to do now is just tap it and the game will launch. So right now I am using the Bluetooth control pad and as you can see everything is working absolutely fine. You can also use the on-screen uh, controls as well as you can see here. You can see the joystick moving around, button presses, everything work completely fine. Now if you take a look at the bottom right hand corner, you can see the icon of an eye. If you tap it, it will disable the on-screen controls. And if you tap it on again, it will bring it back. So obviously if you're using a control pad, you can just tap it to disable it and play away. You can see the frames per second on the top left hand corner. I am using the Samsung Galaxy S21 with the Snapdragon 888 CPU. This game is actually a 60fps game but you can see that it is currently running at 40fps. I have noticed when I'm not recording the performance is slightly better around 45fps. I have also tested it on a Snapdragon 855 phone and it was around 35fps. So it is definitely recommended that you have a high-end Snapdragon phone. One thing I want to point out is that the developers work on this emulator for absolutely free and in their spare time. So please do not be abusive to them or demand any features. I have tried other games and it just crashes or it just doesn't open. So it will need a good amount of time, maybe to the end of this year where game compatibility will increase and the performance will increase as well. So that wraps it up for this video, if you have found it useful give it a thumbs up, if you are new here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like always thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.
Yeah. <laughs>